Welcome back to the things that matter. The voice of social change in the Bahamas. I'm Kirk Johnson as we broadcast live on Guardian Radio 96.9. My special guest today is clinical psychologist Nadia Cash. She has worked with a range of people and personalities. And today, as we count it down to Election Day, we understand, we realize that there are a whole lot of emotions that's a part of this process, from all of the excitement to the frustration even, and one may be concerned about depression. Nadia, earlier you talked about the differences between depression or feeling sad and actually clinical depression. Yes. And that it's something that we need to be aware of. Here it is, someone is at home or on the road and they're thinking, hmm, am I simply feeling sad or is it possible that I'm suffering from clinical depression? Is there a blood test? How do I know? Well, one of the things that you can do, your friends will probably, your friends and family will probably tell you something along the lines of, you've been acting different lately. Are you okay? So if people are constantly coming to you asking you, are you okay? There's something different about you. You don't want to hang out anymore. You don't want to be around us anymore. Then that can be an indicator. Also, if you find yourself sleeping, like I said before, sleeping more than normal or sleeping less than normal, or eating more than normal, or eating less than normal, fatigued all the time, the hopelessness, the thoughts, and especially if you have suicidal thoughts, please, please report it, because then that could be a sign that something severe is happening. So you wanna make sure that you look out for those kind of signs. Also, like I said, the, the sense of worthlessness, if you, are you having thoughts constantly that the world will be better off without me, or, I, I think that life is just not worth it or my situation, my circumstance is not going to get better. It's usually definitives like that would be an indicator that something is wrong. And also, if you are experiencing physical symptoms, like you're experiencing more back aches than normal, more headaches than normal, more stomach aches than normal, and you've gone to the doctor constantly and gotten these things checked out and they constantly say, okay, there's nothing wrong with you, then maybe you want to start getting that aspect checked out also. So those are some of the symptoms and signs to look for. Would I go to a medical doctor or a clinical psychologist or a psychiatrist? Who do I go to? Well, normally people who are experiencing depression, we, we are easy to identify our physical symptoms first. And so they would probably end up in a medical doctor's office first because of the symptoms, because they usually think, oh, it's just the flu or it's something else. But if your doctor has ruled out any of any organic cause for why you're experiencing these symptoms, then you would want to go to a psychologist.